Greetings, my name is Mark. It is the 20th of October, Sunday, 2019. 2019, October 20th, Sunday, at about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm getting some nice light coming through the window. I might not have positioned the uh, camera right to get that. Uh wanted to inform you, for those of you who believe or would believe, I kept asking God to give me justice against my opponent. I'd asked for five years, six years, something like that, for God to give me justice against my opponent which is in the Bible, if you don't know where that that is, what can I tell you? I mean, uh, um, people amaze me. You know, oh, that's not in the Bible. Have you read the entire Bible? Have you, like somebody said, have you looked at the Greek? Um, I think it's in Luke. Something, something like Luke 12, Luke 17, something like that, I don't know. I think it's in Luke. And Jesus gives the example of the persistent widow. And the widow was persistent even though she was not getting what she asked for. That's a great lesson. The persistent widow kept asking and, and asking and asking and she was not getting what she was asking for. And she just kept on asking. And it's been the same with me. The Bible says for a long time, the unrighteous judge, the Bible says for a long time, uh, he refused. The unrighteous judge refused. After a while, he said, this woman is going to drive me nuts if I don't give her justice. And Jesus said this was a real story. There was a judge in a certain an unrighteous judge in a certain city, they did not fear God nor care about men. And I'm thinking, that, those are our judges today. You know, it's a lot of people will say, well, the Bible isn't relevant to anybody except for Christians and Jews. And not all the Bible is relevant to um, Jews. Um, but there's a great example. Um, and there are other ones like that, like the Proverbs or something. It's, it, there's wisdom in there. If people can't recognize wisdom because they think that lightning struck water and creatures start crawling out of the water millions of years later after they were created by the lightning strike, uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's in the Bible, um, the unrighteous judge. Uh, she keeps coming to him. Um, and as I said, it, 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 this is the way things are. Um, you go to a judge, he says, I don't care about you. Jesus hit it right on the nail and he said it. I mean, other people will say it, but Jesus hit it right on the head of the nail. You know, the judge did not care about man, did not fear God, nor care about man as exactly the way judges are today. Exactly. I don't know a judge that fears God. I don't know a judge that cares about man. I've been in front of some judges. Uh, they're, they're the scum of the earth. And um, she kept coming to him saying, give me justice against my legal opponent is the Greek. Give me justice against my legal opponent. And it says for a long time he refused. Not he refused for a week, not he refused for a month, not he refused you know, until Christmas, not he refused until summer. He refused a long time. And, get, and the example is there. God does the same thing. We ask for justice. The, the believers who are mature enough ask for justice. And God does the same thing, about, the Bible says, though he bear along with them. You know, he's making them wait. The Bible says, though he bear along with them, he will give him justice, he will give him justice. And the, the, the Greek is not quickly. 
See, that's, that's, where, that's where it breaks down because the judge refused for a long time. The Bible says he will give him justice and suddenly, though he bear long with him. And because they put quickly instead of suddenly, Jesus is coming suddenly, not quickly. Because they put quickly, they couldn't say, though he bear long with him, because that would imply a long time. He will give him justice suddenly, though he bear long with them. They tried to mess that up so it wasn't clear what, what God was saying and what Jesus was saying. And so that was the story. And I kept asking and asking, give me justice. I would scream it. And uh, because the system is used against Christians. That's why they want a big government. That's why liberals want a big government. Because the system is used against people's enemies. The more laws and regulations, the more people can say, well, hey, if I stick my fist down your throat, you know, I'm checking for cancer and I have the right to do that because the government says I have the right to do that. Or the government says I can do that. Therefore, I'm just checking for cancer or, you know, or, you know, I, well, I have to clear out your nasal passages because the government says I have to do that. Uh, and he said, okay. So that's what I want to tell people. I asked God for justice. I screamed it. I asked it over and over again, year upon year, for I'd say about six years, seven years, something like that, five, six, seven years. I was praying for justice. And God was making me, was, was bearing along with me. He was saying, okay, yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. And then he said, okay, God bless.